See, this right here is why Skeletor was He-Man's greatest enemy. Look, Fandora doesn't make sense. He got the stoppage in the ninth round, corner stoppage, just beating up Lubin too bad, and he did it by being in the pocket. Before I get into that, hit the thumbs up, sub, notification bell. That way you get updated when I drop the newest updates like this. With that being said, let's talk about the tallest, skinniest man I've ever seen fight in the pocket in my life. Fandora, everything about him doesn't make sense. Like I said, Fight Night, create a character. Make him as tall as possible, as skinny as possible, max out his power, max out his inside game, and max out his ability to duck. What? Six foot five at his last weigh-in, although the one before that he was six foot six, and the one before that he was six foot five and a half, and the one before that he was six foot seven. Don't know how tall he is, but to be at least minimum six foot five and to be ducking underneath punches what that doesn't make sense especially against a guy who's a foot shorter than you it doesn't make sense what this dude does he is body to body with these guys fighting with them in the pocket beating guys who are a foot shorter than him generating more power than they can body to body in the pocket and again ducking guys punches that are a foot shorter than him doesn't make sense only thing i can say about that ducking that fundora does is he's got to be careful because when you do duck against shorter fighters you're very susceptible to an uppercut so if he goes against a guy who's very good at throwing a little flick jab or a feint and then following it with a power uppercut he could have some issues. But again, it just, like, God does things in life to say that I am real. <laughs> he does things. He does things just to prove that he is real. All the planets spin one way, but what? Spins the opposite way. <laughs> like, there are things that God creates to say, I am here. And Fandora just happens to be one of those creations. It doesn't make sense. A tall man who refuses to fight from range. I don't get it. Will never get it. But damn, he puts them in them guys' faces and they get it because he gets them out of there like he did to Lubin. Let me know what y'all thought about.